Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look right here. This is the everyday makeup look that I've been rocking for the summer lately. I just made a few swaps to my regular makeup routine to make it a little bit more summer appropriate and I really love the glossy lip and the brighter blush and I think this is just a perfect easy effortless summer look. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. I'm going to start out curling my eyelashes with my Surratt eyelash curler. And I've been back into this. I go through phases where I never curl my lashes and then I go through phases where I can't go a day without doing it. And then I'm going to prime using this Glow Skin Beauty Mattifying Primer. And this comes out in a very like silicone-y texture. And I find that this really helps smooth over my pores and keep my makeup lasting a lot longer throughout the day, especially since this is kind of my go-to makeup this summer where it's been hotter. I've really been enjoying this primer because it just really keeps the oil at bay and keeps the whole look looking matte but not too matte and this doesn't dry out my skin either. And then before we move on to foundation, I'm going to quickly do my eyeshadow because I really don't do much, especially in the summer. I do even like less than normal. So I'm just going to take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and pick some of that up on my damp beauty blender like that and tap it in. And I find that this is the best way to use this product. You can also use your finger or a brush, but for me, this is just faster. And I also find that this helps the wear time be longer. I don't know why applying it with the beauty blender does that. I guess because you're kind of packing on more. I don't know. Or maybe because you're packing on less because the beauty blender absorbs some of it. I'm not sure. Now that the lids are primed, I'm going to go in with eyeshadows and they're my two super worn out boring shadows that you always see me use. First is MAC Rice Paper, which we're going to take all over the lid with a big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40 and this just sets that eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to quickly go in with MAC Soft Brown, which is this brown one that's seen better days. I've literally used this almost every day for years and it's still got some left in the pan. This is my favorite transitional um, crease color for any kind of eyeshadow look. I just find that it's a nice like neutral brown color and it can kind of blend out and diffuse out anything. And the boring shadow look is done. You've seen me do that before. It's just super easy. You could also just like set your lid with your face powder and throw the bronzer through the crease, but I just really love those eyeshadows. So now I'm going to move on to mascara. I also some days apply winged liner. Should I do winged liner today? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do winged liner today just because I'm feeling it, but half the time or most of the time I actually skip it and just go straight in with mascara. But I'm gonna quickly do my winged liner. I'm gonna start by lining with my Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx. So I did a straight line all across my lash line with that Maybelline liner, and then I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Trooper liner here, which is a nice black um, felt tip um, eyeliner, and I'm just going to make the wing. Of course, because I'm filming my eyeliner today, the wings came out super uneven, but we're just gonna move on to mascara and pretend that that's not the case. So I'm gonna start out with my Revitalash Volumizing Primer. And this is like a bright blue um, eyelash primer. And I really like this layering it underneath. I don't know like how helpful it is, but if you're wearing just a lengthening mascara, this just provides some volumizing so you can layer it with that. It also looks pretty cool on its own if you're going for like a more subtle no makeup look. The blue color is kind of like interesting and subtle and right away you don't like notice that it's blue until you look closely or like the sun hits it. So it's kind of an interesting product. And then on top of that, I'm going to use my Tarte Gifted Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. I'm just going to layer that on top and pile a bunch of this on. Now moving on to finish off the base, I'm going to be using my Osmosis Performance Wear Satin Foundation. I have this in the shade Golden Light. And this was a little too dark for me before, but now that I have like a little bit of color, it's like my summery shade, um, this actually works really well. So I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and do one big pump of this and a lot comes out in one pump and that's plenty for me for the whole face. So I'm just going to spread this evenly across the face and blend it all out. The foundation is mostly blended in as, and as you can see that one pump kind of covered my entire face. I have some really dark um, scars and blemishes on this side and those kind of didn't get completely covered but the powder I'm going to use adds a hint more coverage and for me I don't want like a super thick amount of foundation for a warm summer day. So this to me is perfect and this color is also really nice kind of warms up the complexion and helps match um, the tan on the rest of my body. So I really like this coverage and it's very skin like. I find that this um, foundation 
wears really nice throughout the day and looks kind of nice even if you get greasy and hot in the sun. So then for concealer, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, Pro Glow Concealer and I have this in the shade 01 Classic Ivory. And this is the lightest shade, but it's a little like dark for me, so I can only use it when I'm wearing this darker foundation and when I'm a little bit more tanned. So this has kind of become my summer concealer, although I am still really loving the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion, and if I want a fuller coverage look, that's what I go for. But I'm just gonna take my Damp Beauty Blender and blend out this Pro Glow Concealer, and this gives like a really nice, light, luminous coverage. But I find that it's just right for summer, for under the eyes. Of course, to set under the eyes, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just tap some of that into the lid and then pick it up with my Beauty Blender to set under there. And to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I have this in the shade Light Plus. And this is my go-to favorite powder just of all time. But especially in the summer, I like to have kind of like a luminous finish and some other powders just get a little too matte. And I also like this because since it's kind of colored and a mineral powder, it does add just a hint more coverage, like I said, for kind of these dark spots, but nothing too much. And it's not gonna totally change the color of the foundation. It's just going to add a little luminosity and a hint of coverage. And for bronzer, I've been switching between two. The first one is the Glow Skin Beauty Sunlight Bronzer. And then the second one is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. I have this in the shade 00, which is for blondes. And as you can see, the terracotta one's just a lot more orangey and this one's a lot more shimmery and kind of neutral brownie shaded. So it depends on what I'm feeling that day. Today I'm gonna go with the Glow Skin Beauty one just because this is like my favorite easiest bronzer to apply at the moment. But if I wanna go for a super tanned look, then that Guerlain one is really beautiful for the summer and I really like it actually. But today I'm going for a lighter, more everyday kind of lighter look. So I'm going to use this Glow Skin Beauty one and it's just really quick to apply and the shimmery um, effect of it just makes it kind of look glowy and kind of make your whole base feel glowy. For highlighter, I'm going to use my Persona Cali Glow Highlighter and I have this in the shade Laguna, which is the lightest one, but they have two more darker ones. Probably the middle shade of this would be really beautiful for this summery look. But I just take this on a huge fan brush and dust it over the cheekbones. And then if you get really greasy, I would skip this step, but I like to kind of highlight the tip of the nose as well. And then I'm gonna take a dense little eyeshadow brush and the same highlighter and pick a little bit up just to highlight the inner corner of both my eyes as well. And then for blush, I'm going to use my favorite Osmosis blushes. I have this one in the shade Poppy, which is a really like dark, nice, ready color. And this comes off really bright and I think it's perfect for summer. Sometimes it can look a little too intense. Some people don't like such a strong blush look, but for me, I think it really makes the face look like alive and fresh and very summery. And now I'm just quickly going to fill in my eyebrows with my Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows in the shade 02 Soft Brown. And I'll probably set it with this Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing, Volumizing Fiber Gel, and I have this in the shade Soft Brunette. To finish off the look, I'm going to add a lip gloss, and I'm going to use this Kopari Lip Glossy, which is just a clear um, lip gloss, and this brand is very like natural and healthy for you, so I've really been enjoying it, and it's just a really basic, easy gloss to apply for summer. And this product is really great. It's super moisturizing and I've been wearing it like overnight as a super moisturizing lip balm and I just reapply it throughout the day. I really like it. And for me, I tend to go for just a no fuss, moisturizing, lip glossy kind of look in the summer every day. So this one is just a really great basic clear one. And one final step to finish off this makeup look, I don't really use a setting spray all the time, but in the summer I feel like it just makes sense because you want your makeup to last a little longer. Plus it just feels nice to spray something like cool on your face to cool you down when it's hot out. So I'm going to use my Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray today and this also smells really good. And now that I've drenched my skin in that setting spray, the look is complete. And that's it for my everyday summer makeup tutorial. This is the look I've been rocking like most days. I just made a couple swaps from my typical everyday makeup routine for a little bit of a brighter blush and a warmer foundation to match my slightly tanned skin tone, even though I'm still very fair. But anyway, these are the products that I've been loving using in the summer to achieve this kind of glowy, warmer base. As always, all the products that I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. So check that out if you're interested. I also upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday. So so please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video and thank you so much for watching.